What's up, Ninjas? It's Dee here, and today I'm going to show you how to use presets in Vroid Studios. The presets are basically saved hair files that you have created or someone else has created and you would like to use on your avatar. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into Hair Editor, and you're going to see in the top left, it says Preset, Import and Export. So importing a preset means that you want to save what you have created. So for example, if I decide to change, let's see. So now that I've edited the hair, and in case I want to ever just save this for me to like give to someone else, sell it or whatever, I'm going to hit export as preset. So when you export as preset, it's going to name itself a number. I'm also going to show you guys how to rename the numbers so you know what the heck these all are. So to, in order to find your hair presets, it's a little complicated. I'm going to copy and paste how to find it below so you can go ahead and do that. But what it is is that it's under user app data local low pixel pixiv viroid studio hair presets. I'm going to copy and paste this link so you guys can just do that in your folder. Um, and as you can tell, all of these are just numbers. I don't know what they are. They are labeled here, but they're not labeled here because for every reason you cannot change the name of the folder preset, otherwise you completely mess it up. So our latest preset was 29, as you can see here. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to change it. This is another one. But if I want to go to the one I just made, I'm going to go to the preset and import from preset. Ta-da. Now, as you can see, it's labeled right here. There's going to be two folders in here, materials and preset.json. Do not mess with these. These are already like fixed because of Vroid Studios. You mess with this, you're not going to be able to use this file anymore. Now, what you're going to want to do in order to rename this preset to whatever you want to name it, you're going to go to Notepad in your search bar. Open a notepad and grab this preset file and take it into there. It's just code. It's a little intimidating, but if you click on it, go control find and type in preset, it's going to go here. So preset 29 is the name of this file. You don't want to mess with anything else in here. Otherwise you're going to reset the code and it's not going to work. So I'm going to name this test. Simple. If I save this file, exit out, hair presets, and now I have to restart Vroid Studios in order for the preset to be renamed. I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna quit it because I don't wanna save that on my avatar. I'm gonna go to reopen Vroid Studios. I can open any file. Ah, oh, I should've shown that. My bad. I can open any avatar and import that preset on them. Wow, this takes a while. So now that you're back in Vroid Studios, you're going to go down to the very end and look, it has been renamed to test. And now if I click it and hit import, ta-da, that is how you rename presets, that is how you use a preset, and that is how you locate a preset. And what else can I show you guys? Let's see. So what if you get a preset from someone else and you want to import it into your Vroid Studios? Well, let us just copy and paste this random preset. We have to, there you go. Let's rename it. Let's say someone named it really s there. So this is the new preset that I have grabbed from someone else. I've put into my hair presets folder, and now I want to change this number. I want to change the name of it. I want to, you know, just get into my Vroid Studios the way I want it to look like. So what if you get a preset from online and you try and rename it, but you cannot find the word preset? It's probably because it's in Japanese. So you actually have to search the word preset in Japanese. So you're going to go to your hair presets, import that preset into this folder. It's right here. I'm going to rename it 30. So it just matches the order. I'm going to open it up, open a notepad, import that preset folder. And now I'm going to do Control find and I'm going to paste the word preset in Japanese like so I'm going to copy and paste this word below so you guys can always have this um, I thank my friend Tomodachi for translating for me because I don't know Japanese So find next and there you go. It says preset 101 All right, so I'm going to rename it to Sailor Moon because that's what the hair is if I can spell correctly that I'm going to hit control save or control S at the restart Vroid to get that preset loaded in. 
now that you go to your presets, you can scroll down to what you just renamed, Sailor Moon, and hit import. And ta-da, I didn't do anything. I have like a ninja Sailor Moon avatar now. It's it's really cool what you can do with these presets. Um, you can easily search these on Google and find them. A lot of people are selling them, just, you know, ask nicely. And yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. Please, please, please subscribe. We have a goal of a thousand subs and I will do an avatar commission giveaway if you guys are interested. Or you guys can feel free to just commission me and I will get on it right away. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.